What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just another video that we're going to be doing today and we're going to start with the Vinicius Junior training guide. A lot of people ask me about this guy. Should they max him out at 98 overall? I think it depends on how you're going to train him, right? If you are going to be playing him as a left midfielder, um, I think you need to train him slightly different lead then you would be training him up as a winger like an outright winger right so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just take a look at his base card he's on a rating this week i think this is one of the best cards that has been released he is down as a roman flank so i do think that he is better suited to a left midfielder role than a left winger i think wingers are kind of nerfed at the moment unless you're playing really meta um like three two two three a formation or something like that or four three three is kind of like a little bit nerfed but I do still think that there is definitely a, a place for him here uh, in any squad that you that you possibly want, right? So we do have the player skills <coughs> there um, that we'll be looking at. Double touch. He doesn't have one touch pass, which is a little bit of a killer on this card if you are going to be playing him as a left midfielder. He does have speeding bullet, but he doesn't have pinpoint crossing or he doesn't have um, early cross or play style. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you are using this guy, uh, this guy as a left midfielder, you need to do a lot of manual kind of stuff yourself and take on a lot of opponents um, from a deeper position. You know, not, not in the final third, even though he is momentum dribbling in going to be in the final third. It is basically uh, in the left winger position that's going to come into its four, right? So when you actually, you know, go from midfield and collect the ball, you know, one touch and go, instead of like getting the ball and being the last person to run forward with the ball as a left winger, you can be a left midfielder and just kind of take the ball in with little touch and goes, you know, overlaps and all that sort of stuff, right? So we will have two different builds of him. So the first build, so this is the first build, lad. sorry there, we have the first build up here, which is more of a left midfielder type player. I don't really recommend, um, unless you're playing like an outright, like really attack based team, I don't recommend ever trying to like double dip with your wingers. Like your wingers have a very specific role. So if you are like, trying to play them, never mind any of these player skills either, lads. These need to be all updated. There was a change to the database, so it needs to be updated. But the stats still uh, come up quite strong, right? So we're going to ignore shooting for this one. We're going to use this guy as pretty much just like kind of collecting the ball in the middle of the pitch as a left midfielder and then just, you know, dragging the ball in, dragging opponents out of position, um, manually kind of like playing the, the ball a lot out wide without having to cut in and have that final product. We're going to up his passing to eight, going to have the dribbling up to 12. Um, that's going to give us 98 dribbling. It is probably a little bit overkill, but we do want that 90 type possession, right? So when he's on form arrow, like the max form arrow here, it is going to max out at 99, so it is overkill, but we do want that 12 dribbling for the 90 type possession. That's going to make a difference in this card, especially as we're going to be uh, seeing with Vive 2.5. There is a big emphasis on first touch. We also have 7 into dexterity, which gives us 95 acceleration, and then lower body strength. We've just upped that because we are going to be playing him as kind of like the fulcrum between left back and left wing. Um, if we are going to be like having him there, he's going to have to act as a little bit of a wing back to get back and help that back tree if you have him as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. I don't think that this is the best version of him. I think if you are uh, trying to turn somebody like this into kind of like an all round player, um, I think you're kind of doing him a bit of a disservice because he doesn't have the player skills, you know, for one first touch passing or anything like that. I definitely think you need to be using this version of him. So both versions of him go up to 97 overall. You will get to boost on that as well. He can go to 98 overall if you boost up his passing and his dribbling and all that like more regular. Um, but with this one, we're going to give a very, very solid card uh, compared to this one, right? So this guy has got no real finishing. He's got eight passing. But with this card, we're going to turn him into the ultimate winger, right? So this is an insane card. One of the best wingers in the game by a mile. I would say him... Matoma and Moraz are, are three of the most, you know, overpowered uh, wingers that you're going to have in the game, right? So the only difference that we've really made in this card, the dribbling stays the same. We've got 12 each. Um, the dexterity gets a little bit of a boost to max it out at 97. But the real key there that we want is to have 85 balance. That's the key stat we want there. And then the 90 type possession is going to, you know, link up with the dribbling, the ball control perfectly. 80 finishing because they've brought back the curl shots a little bit. They're probably about 10% better than V2.4. But the real difference between this card is going to be the dexterity and the lower body strength. So with this one, we've six for lower body, getting his stamina up. But with this, we've kind of like reduced the speed to 89. We don't really need to be covering a lot of ground with Vinicius Jr. We're probably going to play him as like anchoring to hug the touchline um, so he doesn't come central. And I think this is probably the best version of him. Now, uh, how he stacks up, they did release another version of him before with 20 levels, 
This guy um, is extremely similar to the car that they have released on the Showtime. So this one was released as the Derby Day Vinicius Jr. Um, he was down as a Roman flank as well. Um, that's been his playstyle all year. He started off as an 85 overall. This version of him obviously starts off at 86 or 28 level. So this is the best version of Vinicius that they have released. And obviously his standard card is 26 overall. This one was 25 overall. But this one, if you have got this one as well, I don't know is it worth spinning for Vinicius Jr. Apart from the fact that he's always um, you know, going to be pretty much in good form from now until the eFootball 24 you would imagine especially when the live update kicks in um you know and he's been having such an incredible season so i do like that this card is kind of fairly well balanced but yeah this showtime card lads is an absolute beast of a card you train him up to 97 overall i think that's the way to go as an out and out winger so that's it for me lads you've got a wavering form you've got every team play style proficiency you could want 97 dribbling 85 balance 98 dribbling here 97 acceleration i should say and the balance at 85 is huge. So that is it for me, lads. You throw in 80 finishing, massive. So that's it for me, lads. I'll be back in a bit. Let me know if you want more training guides. Peace.